Good morning. I am Annie Frieda, postgraduate teacher from SLB Government High Secondary School, Nagar Koyil. In this video, we are going to see few concepts about the current electricity lesson plus two physics. What is electric cell? Difference between cell and battery. Does a cell have internal resistance? How to determine the internal resistance of a cell? Electric cell. Electric cell has two terminals, a positive terminal and a negative terminal. The positive terminal is called anode and the negative terminal is called cathode. An electric cell converts a chemical energy into electrical energy to produce electricity. By using chemical reaction, a battery produces potential difference across its terminals. There are two types of electric cells. They are electrochemical cell and a dry cell. Electrochemical cell. Voltaic cell was invented by Alessandro Volta in 1800. It has two electrodes. A positive electrode is called the anode and negative electrode is called the cathode. And it has a liquid called electrolytes. Dry cell. Dry cell does not contain any electrolytic liquid. Leclange cell was the first dry cell invented by Carl Gassner in 1886. Then it was re-modified by many other scientists and we are blessed with batteries we use. This is a cell. When two or more cells are combined together serially or parallelly, we call it as a battery. See in this connection, the positive end of the battery is connected to the negative end of the other battery. The positive end of the battery is connected to the negative end of the other battery. This type of connection is called serial connection. Here, Positive terminal of the battery is connected to positive and negative terminal of the batteries are connected to negative. And this type of connection is called parallel connection. A battery or cell is a source of electromotive force or EMF. The term electromotive force does not refer to a force. It is the voltage provided by the battery when no current flows in the external circuit. It is denoted by psi. Its unit is volt. EMF is the amount of work a battery or cell does to move a certain amount of charge around the circuit. A freshly prepared cell has a low internal resistance and it decreases with usage. This is the freshly prepared cell and this is a 9 volt battery. And see here the voltage given is 8.97. Here after few hours of usage the cell shows the potential difference to be 6.47. The same 9 volt battery shows a voltage of 6.47. A new 9 volt battery measures 8.97 volt. 0 0.03 volt is the voltage drop due to internal resistance within the cell. What is this internal resistance? 
internal resistance is the opposing force to the flow of charges within the cell or battery it is present within the cell it is measured in ohms how can we determine the internal resistance of a cell the internal resistance of a cell could be determined by using a voltmeter first let us measure the emf of cell by connecting a high resistance voltmeter across it high resistance voltmeter draws very little current for deflection hence the voltmeter reading gives the emf of the cell then an external resistance r is connected to the circuit current i is established in the circuit the potential difference across r is equal to the potential difference across the cell v and so the potential drop across the resistance r is v is equal to ir in the circuit r is the external resistance i is the current flowing through the circuit psi is the emf of the cell and v is the potential difference r is the internal resistance this is the battery and psi is the emf provided by the battery small r is the internal resistance of the battery and so the total potential across this battery will be psi plus ir and that is equated to the voltage v the voltage across the resistance r will be v and so v is equal to ir let that be the first equation we know that psi plus ir is equal to v and so ir could be written as psi minus v dividing the equation 2 by 1 we get i r divided by i capital r is equal to psi minus v divided by v and so what is the internal resistance small r that is equal to psi minus v divided by v into r because the i and i gets cancelled so the internal resistance r will be equal to psi minus v divided by v into capital r in this video we have seen what is electric cell difference between cell and a battery we have seen what is internal resistance we have also determined the internal resistance of a cell thanks for watching if you have any doubt please give it in the comment box i shall clarify it